welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura. If you're new here, I'd love you to hit subscribe and follow along with my journey. As you can see from that montage, I am not in my regular setup at home. I am in Pemberton. Well, I'm leaving Pemberton today. I've had a whole week here and parts of it have been so lovely, but unfortunately the whole family has been sick with the flu. I mean, we can't say exactly if it's the flu, but it's been over a week and nobody's really gotten particularly better, aside from my brother. I think, without meaning to, they brought sickness with them and we've just all had sore throats, lots of congestion. I've had a pressure headaches, muscle aches, and everyone's been struggling to sleep. It's just been, I mean, it's a nice place to be when you're sick because we've had, we've been puzzling, we've been watching movies, we did a Harry Potter marathon, Lord of the Rings marathon. We've just been getting cozy by the fire, having spas, making s'mores, that kind of thing. So it has been really nice, but unfortunately we wanted it to be a bit more of an active holiday, go for a lot more hikes. We did go out for some walks, but I feel like we were really ready to do some pretty intense hikes and be a bit more athletic, but we weren't able to do that. So it's still been a lovely time away, but I'm a bit gutted because honestly today I still feel like I've got really swollen glands and I'm feeling... You know, obviously the best I have, because I've had this for over a week now, but it doesn't feel enough of a difference to really feel that I can seize the day. But I did want to start just a little vlog. I don't really know how much footage I'm going to get today, but maybe just over the next few days as I get back into routine. I'm back at work tomorrow, kind of at 50% capacity, though I'm not going to go back to things until really the 8th and tomorrow is the 4th so yeah kind of half half but happy new year and merry christmas and i hope you had a really good holiday break i yeah like i said this wasn't what i imagined but it has been really lovely so we've still definitely found some joy in our time here especially playing lots of monopoly deal and just fun games we spent some time in whistler and yeah the snow is actually not great so I guess the bonus is that while we've been sick, it's not been great for skiing anyway. We were supposed to have a bit of a skiing holiday. Anyway, I'm going to finish this coffee, pack up my bags, get myself all organized, and then we are headed off back to Vancouver. Maybe via the Sea to Sky gondola, I'm not sure, but we shall see. With the whole family coughing, I'm so glad I bought this. This is my noise cancelling machine. You can change the sounds, and I just, I love this thing. It's definitely helped drown out all the coughing. Also, all us kids did Secret Santa, like I mentioned in a previous video, and James got me this fleece from Free People, and I swear, since I got it on Christmas Day, I've definitely worn it, maybe I've taken a couple of days off, but basically worn it every day, because it's so comfortable, so warm, you almost don't even need a jacket when you wear this, but I've been wearing a hard shell jacket on top, just for waterproof reasons, but I think I've got some food in the sleeve, probably needs a really good wash. I think I need to do the full reset. That we do have a washing machine and a dryer here, which has been great. It's a three bedroom house with a loft area. I'll show you where the ladder is in the little loft. I slept up there for the first three nights because Ty wasn't here. I should mention as well that Ty actually got so sick that he couldn't finish his last two shows of Cinderella, which was really upsetting for him. So he was supposed to finish the last matinee and the evening show, and he just had absolutely no voice. And so he would have done everything he can to make it work. Like the day before, he was isolating a different room to them and wearing a mask and just making sure he didn't have COVID. He obviously tested. Uh, just making sure he was separate from everyone, not getting them sick. And the only time he wasn't wearing a mask was when he was on stage. And he just couldn't do it. He woke up, no voice. So that was really sad. It's just definitely knocked us all down but we've had a pretty good positive attitude and like I said with our movie marathons and uh, Sophie baked banana bread phrases Sophie not Sophie my sister Sophie my sister-in-law uh, she baked banana bread for everyone dad cooked a nice meal for everyone we've had some takeout yeah it has been nice I don't want to be all doom and gloom um, Ty's just in the background here just packing up his bag um, and yeah like I said we're feeling better back to work tomorrow but I could do with probably another three days here of just actually feeling good enough to get out and about. But I think right now I'm going to insert some clips of some things I've done over the past few days if I've taken video and yeah, so just so you can see, they're probably going to be in vertical format though, so yeah. <laughs>
this is where I slept for a couple of nights, a few nights. There's a little nook up here. It's pretty cozy, but very inconvenient when going to the bathroom in the night as a bit of a climb. We're just about to pack out and Sophie was the one that found this place and this entertaining area, like this lounge area with the wood fire, amazing. But what was the downfall, Sophie? There was a couple, okay. You have to have comfortable beds when you are going for a six night stay. And we booked this a few months ago and in the, in the time since then there's been a few reviews that have said that it's not comfortable for eight adults and we would agree with that. And I just think it's really worthwhile doing proper review so that people yeah. can read that stuff. Because if I'd have read it, I probably wouldn't have booked it. Um, and the other thing is they bought a brand new couch and then said you couldn't eat or drink on the couch. Which is so a bit be... tough because obviously we're going to clean up after ourselves. And this couch, it's a, it's a nice couch, but it's like there's a coffee table there. We could have definitely put snacks on the coffee table, you know, and enjoyed... Well, we mainly had a puzzle there, but you know, we could have just enjoyed a couple of drinks and snacks in that way. So, the the I'm lounge. Just tired. I don't mean to complain. No, no, no. Honestly, every right to complain because we agree that this space is just you know great. Big lounge, big kitchen. We played lots of games on this dining table. Ate together here. They've got a proper coffee machine, same one that we have back in Vancouver. So, can froth the milk, made lattes here. So, the space was great. But yeah, Sophie's bed was really uncomfortable. Mum and Dad's bed was really uncomfortable. They're both like kid rooms and the beds were just really thin mattresses. Um, I, like the room that we're in, we were in the master. I spent three nights up there, but then when Ty came, I switched to the other room, which was really kind of them because that one's got an ensuite. Uh, but other than that, it's a smart home. So it had lots of little features that were really nice. Uh, but yeah, it is tough when you spend multiple nights, especially when you're sick, not having a comfy bed. So we're not complaining, like, you know, obviously we're on holiday. We're not complaining about the actual house, but the beds were just rubbish. Now we're going to drive back. We've got three cars because we had to get a rental car because Ty obviously didn't join us till later. So I'm going to drive the rental car. I'm the only one that's insured for that. Ty's going to drive our car. And how's Nessie going? We've decided to call our yeah. new car Nessie because she's a Nissan. Yeah. And she is just running well. And we're happy with that. And then James has got his big truck. So we've got Big Blue. The, we've also got a, is it a Nissan that I'm driving as well? Elantra? Hyundai. No, Hyundai. Elantra. And then Ty is driving Nessie. Oh, my chapstick. I'll tell you what, my nose was so chapped from blowing it so much. This, because it doesn't have any scent or anything, worked really well around my nose. I was using it on my lips and my nose, which I know. I get it. Don't come at me, but unhygienic. But when you're in the trenches, you know, when you're really in the trenches, it was, it was great. So that was mum and dad's room. They said their bed was quite uncomfortable. Um, I've shown you our room. I've shown you the foyer, but this was where Sophie slept. And that bed was not the one, bunk beds, but that was just, they couldn't even lie on their side. It was so uncomfortable. And like we said, six nights, not ideal. Bathroom here, that one is a smart toilet, which is kind of cool. This is obviously just such a nice view and was a nice room. I whacked my foot so hard on that last night. You should see the bruise on my foot. I'll show you later. But lots of fun little touches and then, Heaps of cool art in their place. I don't know if I love those, but like, if that's their style, then cool. There's a choo-choo train as well. There's a choo-choo train that goes around the tree and Fraser loved that. You can kind of see the mountains through there, maybe a little bit clearer on our way through. Sky gondola. We're gonna go up there, but we're just gonna make sure that it was clear enough. But it looks like we get a good view. And Sophie says that there's a spot to get maybe a bite or a coffee at the top. There's some spots down here. But yeah, this would be a nice spot to come in summer as well. We'll see what's up the top. Some freshly baked chimney cakes. Yeah, then 
you're gonna get the view down. Although I'm, I get pretty sick, so I'm probably gonna turn around to face this way anyway. Look at that view. It's so beautiful out here. This particular part you can't really see below the mist, but over there you can and it's moving through pretty quickly. I think we're gonna walk through the trees a little bit and then we're gonna go into the cafe that's up here and just grab a coffee. What's happening, Farnell? J-Mac? You look really happy for you. <laughs> And see it. Savvy, you look prancing for you. This would have been really nice to do in the festive Number four. season. It's paw. Can you a There's a waiter in the wild. Look, you can get yourself a gondola soft toy. Good morning. I'm not gonna lie, it is almost a week after I filmed those last clips. Uh, there were a few reasons I didn't pick up my camera. I maybe did a couple of times, but then I forgot to film anything else throughout the day. One, we came back, we were still feeling a little bit rubbish, so we're just kind of resting. Number two, we wanted to spend our time with Fraser and Sophie before they went back to London. And then number three, I was also just getting back into routine uh, because I kind of went back to work last week, sort of 50%, and this week I'll be back to my regular workload. But today, however, I'm kind of taking the whole day off. I say kind of because I'll still be doing a bit of emails, but I'm actually going to the hospital now to get my pouchoscopy. Um, it is snowing, but it's kind of turning to sleet slash rain now, but I'll insert a clip that I just took before. I think you can see the snow. Uh, the snow is very much exciting, especially because mum and dad are here. Uh, but today I'm getting a pouchoscopy, which is the same as a colonoscopy, but I don't have a colon. So I didn't have to do any crazy prep. I just wasn't allowed to drink uh, anything or eat anything after midnight. And um, I was only allowed to drink clear liquids after midnight. So very easy prep. Uh, it's not at the regular hospital that I usually go to. And when I spoke to my surgeon's administrator, she said, I don't know why they want to have you in here an hour and a half before your actual procedure. That's crazy. Uh, so I'm 9.30 report time. I'm at St. Joseph's Hospital. Um, 9.30 report time, but probably won't get seen until 11. Uh, whereas usually when I go to St. Paul's, it's uh, half an hour before. And my surgeon is actually on maternity leave. So uh, it's still another female, but it's not my same surgeon, uh, which is fine. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do this morning. So just all that glamorous stuff, you know, camera up the whoop. Um, anyway, today's also James's birthday. So after he finishes work tonight, he's going to go out with just Sophie for dinner because we've been doing a lot of things as a big family unit. But then we're all going to do cake together afterwards. And <clears throat> we made him a lemon drizzle cake yesterday. We've got to ice it today. And yeah, not a whole lot to report. Ty's here. Hey. <laughs> Um, but yeah, hopefully this is quick and easy. I've got my book, I've got my Kindle. This pocket is actually housing like my Kindle, my wallet, and soon to be my phone, um, which is fantastic because you know when you put all your stuff in a hospital bag and everything can just kind of fall, uh, you might be able to, you might misplace items. This just means it's all together. Cool, all right, let's go. Okay, it is many hours later. I've actually been working for the last four and a half hours and I'm just making a decaf coffee now to get me through kind of like the last hour of work. I wanted to update directly afterwards, but I kind of just wanted to process the information. I found the whole experience a little bit triggering and I just wanted to have my response be not so emotional and I'm feeling a lot more level-headed now. 
basically when I was in the room. So first of all, they did things completely different than St. Paul's. In St. Paul's, you can wear your own clothes. You don't have to change into a hospital gown. You don't need an IV because there's no sedation. It's really straightforward. However, obviously every hospital is gonna have their own procedures. Totally understand that. So for this one, I did get an IV and it took slightly longer. There were a lot more steps. Uh, and when I was in the room, as always, I was fully awake. So the reason I'm telling you why it took so long is it actually took longer than I expected. And I was in there for a few hours, which I was kind of only anticipating being in there for just under two. So I went in and the doctor, like I said, wasn't my regular surgeon. She was great. I actually didn't realize it, but she was actually present at one of my surgeries. So she was great. We had a good chat about everything that it had been going on with the pouch. She was slightly concerned that it had been pouchitis. However, upon kind of eliminating some of the symptoms, we were both pretty confident that it wasn't. Uh, but it's just something to be mindful of because she did let me know about some of the symptoms of pouchitis that I can be mindful of for the future. Uh, now, when she was inside, obviously I'm wide awake. I'm looking at things together. She did find something. So she found, I'm gonna call it a growth, but she didn't know exactly what it was. Now she initially referred to it, I could see it. Um, she said, this could be an ulcer, but I don't know. And so I immediately, obviously feeling fearful because this is how I was diagnosed through a scope and them finding something and saying, no, no, we need to worry, no need to worry. You know, uh, we'll take a biopsy. That was this experience. And so when she said, I've got to take a biopsy of this just to be certain, could just be an ulcer or I'm, I'm not sure. And then I, tried to get clarification. I said, does it look like an ulcer? She said, I'm not sure. I don't want you to be worried, but yeah, I do have to take this biopsy and we'll get it sent away. And uh, if you don't hear from me, assume that it's good news. I won't book a follow-up, but if you do hear from us, assume that it's something we might need to follow up and, you know, um, I guess get seen to or treated. So that just definitely stirred up a lot of emotions being in that same spot of having something found, biopsies taken, another person looking at it, you know? It just was a triggering thing. I'm sure it's gonna be totally fine. I really do believe that, but that's part of the reason it took a little bit of time to respond, just because afterwards I was feeling a bit overwhelmed. So I am now, you know, feeling a lot calmer and, you know, ready to kind of just let that go. If I hear something, I hear something. If I don't, I don't. Sometimes it's probably better to have created an appointment rather than wondering how long it will take to get the results through. Therefore, if I haven't heard in a week, am I assuming that everything's okay? Or am I assuming that I'm still waiting on a call to like tell me that something's wrong? So I probably should have asked for clarification there. And I think that's on me, not on them. Uh, but yeah, I'm feeling okay now. And oh, like I said, no sedation. And there was no prep for it aside from just only drinking clear fluids before it this morning, which was obviously easy because I needed to be there at 9.30, not 2 p.m. in the afternoon. So we're feeling okay. I'm going to finish up the last of my work. Like I said, probably another hour. Decaf coffee, even though it's not gonna provide me with any, any energy, there's just something about the brain break of creating the coffee and just, you know, sitting and giving it a little cuddle. I had some, I didn't show you my breakfast because again, it was when I came back and I was just kind of decompressing, but I had some, uh, toast with peanut butter, banana and hemp hearts on it and I haven't had anything else to eat today. I'm not very hungry, a bit of a reduced appetite from just how I've been feeling but I'm going for dinner with my parents tonight and I think I'm gonna get this big vegan bowl. So I'll take you along with me for that. It's just gonna be me, mum and dad because Sophie and James are out for James's birthday, Ty's at work, so just a little small group date. Uh, but yeah, gotta finish the last little bit of my work and then I'll sign off for the day. I'm just about to head out, but I wanted to show you our cute little calendar that we just got. It's of different places in Italy. I guess I won't get too far ahead of myself so I can show you the different months and different vlogs, but I picked up in Granville Island the other day and it's so sweet. I'm headed out the door now. It's pouring with rain. It was snowing this morning. It is supposed to get to minus 11 later this week, so we'll definitely have snow. I'm gonna go pick up a loaf of bread from the bakery down the street from mum and dad's because I just feel like a really nice loaf, not just one from the supermarket. Also, I went to the supermarket yesterday and for whatever reason, the shelves were very ravaged of bread, so I didn't have much options to choose from. 
I think I want to get this high fiber loaf, just another great way that when my gut's a little bit irritated and I can't have lots of plant fiber, I can get some extra fiber in my bread. I'm just picking up mum and dad for dinner, but this is the cake mum and I made yesterday. Oh, I forgot to get James's present from our house. I'll have to grab that after dinner. Okay. Um, this is, have you got 30 candles, mum? Or just yeah, in the shape? I've got to fit a few more in. You've got 30 and in the shape of a 30. Yeah, nice. I've, got, I've got these more to squeeze in. Lemon drizzle with lemon icing. We'll figure it out. We've, we'll have plenty of time when we get back. Dad, have you rehearsed your happy birthday? Oh, Are no. you going to sing? Yeah, no, I just trimmed it up. I'm just going to do, I'm going to do Beautiful Crazy, better than I did the other night. Oh, you're going to play that as well? Well, let's see. I'm releasing a few songs. Yes, sir. <laughs> We just got back from dinner. I forgot to film at dinner because I went to the bathroom and Murphy's Law, as soon as you go to the bathroom, the food arrives on the table. And so I came back and it was just ready to go. So I just didn't film anything and I just ate it. Um, so apologies for that. But I had a beet burger. Mum and Dad both had fish and chips. And what was the fish again that you had? Haddock. 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 And we didn't actually ask, but it, we I think it was... We actually had it and we had it. You, you had it. You had the headache, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so we're waiting for Sophie and James. They should be here in about five minutes. And then Dad's got the guitar in the bedroom and he's going to come out and sing happy birthday. Ty is probably about 15 minutes or maybe even 30 minutes behind finishing work. So he probably, he won't be here for the happy birthday, but he'll definitely cash in on a piece of cake. Um, we got James a mech voucher because he wants to get some new snowboard goggles. So we just got him a voucher because I think he wants to get some pretty decent ones. Um, and so that voucher can contribute towards them. And mum and dad got him some Lulu lemon work pants. Is that right, mum? And he wore them today? And he wore them today. He waited until his birthday to open them. I think I hear them. I hear them. Hey. I'm gonna release my new song I wrote with them. Woo! We are home now, Ty's is doing his skincare and we are getting into bed, gonna read our books. It's pretty early, but honestly, today's been pretty knackering. Um, I got my nails done yesterday, by the way. I've already screwed up one of them. I think it's on the other hand. Tomorrow is a early start. Ty wants to turn off the light, but we can't turn it off just yet. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to finish this vlog. I, um, yeah, so tomorrow's an early start and I just want to get a really good night of sleep. Really enjoying my book as well. Tomorrow's day is super packed as well. I'm well and truly back into full-time work mode this week with a ton of really motivated clients and lots of new clients as well. And onboarding typically takes a little bit more time. I love it though. I love what I do. And I'm actually quite grateful to be back in the swing of things. I definitely did say today though, just to wrap up this whole sickness thing, because I'm finally feeling better with my overall like fluy cold symptoms. I said what I wouldn't give to kind of go back in time and feel the way I feel now while we were in Pemberton and just really enjoy that time without being so sick and congested, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna take another holiday again until April. Taylor's coming in April. So that's gonna be an amazing holiday. We're going to Banff, we're going to uh, go to Jasper, Emerald Lake, we're gonna do Sun Peaks. It's gonna be awesome. And we're, we've already booked like one thing, but yeah, I'm excited to book the rest of that trip. But I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. I know it was just jumping between two days that were very far apart, but I thought I would upload it anyway. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you all in my next.